Hi, I'm Rick Vespa with English Gardens. We're a family-owned business in Metro Detroit since 1954. I'm here to introduce a series of gardening segments to help you make your life more beautiful by making gardening easy. Hi, I'm Rick Vespa and today we're going to talk about spring flowering bulbs. These are the bulbs you plant in the fall, anytime up to the ground is frozen, and uh, they come up in the spring, give you beautiful color in the spring. So some of the selection are your small bulbs like muscari and crocus, these come up very early. Then things like hyacinths, which are probably next in line, very, very fragrant. Uh, Narcissus or daffodils are the next group that flower. And then tulips, which is probably the biggest group. You get all kinds of flower shapes, colors, different heights of plants. So these are a, a big group to go through. And then one of my favorites is the allium here. It's a big bulb. This plant uh, grow the flower grows on a stem about three to five feet tall, big purple uh, flower. Plant those in groups of three or so for the maximum uh, impact. So what do you need to know about planting these bulbs as far as uh, location? Yes. Find a sunny, well-drained area, and then think about things like the color, uh, of course the bloom time, which I've already described, the heights of the plants, and then your location, uh, you might want to try to find a place where you can plant the bulbs behind, say, a perennial that's going to come, come up out of the ground after the bulb blooms, or maybe uh, in front of an existing low-growing plant of some sort. This will allow you to leave the foliage on the, on the bu uh, bulb plant after it's flowered, let it die back into the ground, which will help replenish the bulb, the nutrients in the bulb. When you're planting, a couple of things to know. You should fertilize using a bulb tone or a bone meal. And uh, this uh, Neptune's Harvest crab shell uh, product is all organic. It does three things for you. It uh, fertilizes the bulb, it prevents a blossom or an end rot, and it'll also discourage uh, digging animals like squirrels, which is really important. Another thing for to prevent squirrels and digging animals from taking your bulbs away, sprays like this, which you can spray on the bulb as you're planting. Uh, you could use a fence or a mesh like this to discourage the digging. The tools of the trade. A bulb planter like this for planting individual bulbs uh, allows you to release the soil easily. An auger like this to help you with the job by attaching this to a drill makes it easier. And then a uh, spade like this if you're digging uh, bigger areas to plant, um, which is, uh, by the way, a great trick. Um, this is a great tool because you get low to the ground. On that note, in terms of planting big groupings, rather than individual bulbs, for maximum impact, you want to plant the bulbs in groups of, say, six or more in, uh, in nice, generous uh, areas that will give you the maximum impact. I'm Rick Vespa, helping make your life beautiful by making gardening easier. Thank you.